What's going on guys, all but so here, back again with another video. And today we have Palkia, and um, Palkia has been very strong since it was printed in a a Astral Radiance. Uh, I think if you ask most people, it was the BDIF of the last two formats, but it's since fallen off a little bit. Um, it's not, it does not have the most reasonable Lugia matchup, so you kind of have to go with like instead of that primarily uh, Palkia based route. This deck doesn't even go Palkia very hard into most matchups. Like, into the Lugia matchup, you're mostly an Articuno deck. Krabomita, if you can use the Krabomita, will use Ice Gyu into the Lost Zone Box matchups. Drapion into Muse. You're not actually, uh, I wouldn't call this like a primary Palkia deck anymore. I'd kind of call it like Palkia Box or something like that because you're not, like, Palkia, while it's your, your beat stick main attacker, you have other um, attackers for different situations. Like, you're, like, before it was pretty much just straight Palkia, and maybe you had you had the Kerbomitable, but you didn't really have, um, you it played a much thicker Palkia line, I guess what I, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but this is the, the list Ian Robb used in Orlando. Very strong list. I do think this is one of, this might be the call for um, OCIC. I think P Paralysis is going to make a statement for that event. But I do have a couple battles after this. There is one mirror. One of the battles is a mirror match. I do scuff up pretty bad, but I think there's a lot to be learned from that game. So definitely stick around for that one. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. I post daily Pokemon TCG content, and 88% of you guys are now subscribed. So if you'd please consider subscribing, I'm trying to reach that 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I'm going to keep up, 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 uploading daily. So um, uh, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the battles. All right, getting to our first battle here. Losing the, the coin flip. So, pretty strong opening hand for us. Going seconds, never ideal though. We are against Lugia, so that's a pretty solid matchup. Bird Keeper is definitely a card to keep our eye out on. Uh, so, they capture from our Lugia, so, but no Archeops down on the first turn. I'll use a VIP pass and get Manaphy and Sobble, because we will have to protect my bench for our Raikou play, because Raikou is a pretty strong attacker in this situation for my opponent. I was an Irida for Drizzile and Incense. Rents the Articuno. I get a couple water energies attached to the Articuno and then pass. This way, I'm fully expecting that this Palky to go down, but then I'll have a response with my Art Articuno, even if they um, to take this knockout. So there, we're going to see an Incense here for an Archaeops. And just to read the wind, no. Wow, their hand's very weak, so. I can I can't one shot this Lugia unfortunately, but at least can put a pretty big dent into it. Their hand is not, we know it's not very strong. So, summoning stars for or um, excuse me, star portal for one's always kind of a feels bad man, but I think it's correct. We already have the energy on our Articuno, so we don't even need to have a right hand attach. We are just one energy away from attacking, so this is kind of aggressive, but. I you don't usually get opportunities like this in, in a Lugia matchup, so I'm going to take my shot here. So, will my opponent have anything going on on their side? If not, we can double. We can get, oh, the collapse is pretty annoying, because I can't really suck the mana fee, so I think Sobble's the odd man out here. I need to get both those Drizziles. I gotta keep mana fee, or my bench is at risk. So, Sobble unfortunately has to go. They have Quick Ball out Don Sparse. So that means our hand still is kind of lacking, because that... This quick ball is not out in Archaeops, that means they don't have another uh, ball search card in their hand. So sure enough, that will find Luminion. You have to think it's going to be a Marnie. Yep. Their hand is probably too big to research, and they don't have, obviously don't have any Archaeops to discard. So they get, find a Choice Belt. Yeah, that's pretty good. They would, Yeah, that makes sense to vacuum with, away the Collapse, so they can potentially drop a, a, a Raikou or, or Angru. Still have bench space for two Archaeops. Yeah, find the, the, the Lugia V-Star. But so many stars for only one Archaeops. That is... Pretty good for us but our hand is quite lacking we don't have any sort of uh not much anything going on after if this knockout he has to have an attachment in hand to be able to take this knockout so pretty likely that our, our pucky is going down if we could be able to like top like a water and, and respond with a uh, wild freeze we're in a pretty good spot but i don't it's going to be not highest odds ever and sure enough we just topped a like jelly so this is very bad for us we're going to bench the Ice Q retreat in there and pass. Hopefully, if they gust one of our Drizziles, that's very bad news. So, it's, I mean, they, they don't have the powerful necessary to go for a big Stoutland, so they just take out the Articuno. 
and we top like Inteleon. That is insane. Now we can go for that Raihan and we can get a Wild Freeze off. I will grab a net. I will then Raihan for that Capacious Bucket. Only one water down, so it's better to grab Bucket than, than, than Quart. So we'll attach that uh, net up my Inteleon. I want to save that Drizzile for a, a quick shooting Inteleon. So then we will just uh, Wild Freeze. And now on my next turn, I'm going to Gust something else up because I want to keep that Paralysis locked down and I'll just use that quick shooting to clean up that we get on the bench. So my opponent, uh, unless I'm playing Bird Keeper, which is not necessarily mandatory, and we get, they will just be kind of, kind of stuck. So we see that the Quick Ball out, the Archaeops, they grab the Yveltal, Amazing Rare, put a Hiding on it, and just pass. Okay, so now onto my turn here. I'm going to... Uh, shitty dealings for an incense. I'm gonna find that quick shooting Inteleon. I will put it down, put a jelly on the active, quick shooting the active, and then I will gust the Archaeops and wild freeze it. This way, I, I force them to uh, put all their all their uh, energies on board, and because this they're only Archaeops, so they have to like, sort of um, kind of aggressively, I guess is probably the right word, um, put energies on board and instead of. Keeping them in the deck and they say like put on a stout and they don't have that time to and then i just and that could set up me set up for me later to like go for a thornton play and just start whacking right through these lugia so we'll quick shooting that bench guy and take two prizes vip and drizzle drizzle is not a bad part we'll get sobble we'll get quick ball i will quick ball out the vip pass and grab another articuno bench sobble bench articuno attached articuno and then wild freeze and we can knock it out with um, quick shooting next turn, and then we'll be tied at prize cards after we're with sort of a uh, slow start on my end. We, we both had slow starts, but uh, my opponent definitely got the upper hand early. But the paralysis is pretty tough for Lugia to deal with if they're not playing Bird Keeper. That's, that's another reason why I like Wash Energy and Lugia is because you can be. Like you Luminion loop into Manaphy, or not into Manaphy, into Luminion, and um, not be worried about getting paralyzed. You just worry about getting knocked out with subspace swell, but uh, at least if, if they're just going very straight um, Art Articuno loop, or uh, Articuno shock lock sort of uh, paralysis. So I'm gonna grab an Irida, get the, the Inteleon and a net. And I will after. I don't want to bleed the prize card here because Stoutland could then uh, then come in and take that final three prizes on us. I know, I know they don't have a powerful left, but could like Echoing Horn Gust, KO Sobble or something. So I'll be netting out my Articuno on the next turn. We can use Quick Shooting to clear that uh, clear that Yveltal. So yeah, everything can get paralyzed. Paral Paralyzed, and they don't have anything that can get them out of it. It appears they can promote that Lugia V and then uh, evolve it to, to cure the, the paralysis. But we do have the Inteleon in our hand to then find a boss sorters, and we can have any of those guys on the bench. So, the incense, Serena, and then a pass. So we'll quit shooting and take this knockout. Oh, and then, of course, they do promote that Lugia V. So I will evolve into the Intalion and get a boss's orders. And I guess not a scoop of net. Or, I mean, training court is fine too, but I think I want net over the. Yeah. So I will the net the active and go into my other Articuno. Boss orders. I'm picking the Stoutland here in case they have something like that, that wash energy. I don't want it to get. Uh, I don't think Wash Energy clears the effect. Uh, I don't think it clears any effect on the current Pokemon, so I think it's still stay paralyzed. But it shouldn't matter too much. We're just a couple wild freezes away from winning. We have both both those quick shooting Italians. We can do another 110 damage on our next turn between wild freeze and two, two quick shootings, and they will be unable to move it. And my clip just cut out, but I promise that I I won. I I'm very sorry about that. I don't. So unfortunately, we're going second, which is never great when you're playing a deck like Palkia that always likes to get that first turn of evolving. Our hand definitely leaves something to be desired. I think I'm going to open the Greninja. I don't know. I probably should open the Sawbill, but Sawbill 
on my opponent's side. This is probably a mirror match, and it is. So going second on the mirror is incredibly bad. But we will manage here. No water, so I'd have to take Palky, which isn't necessarily the best top deck ever. I will grab Manaphy and a Sobble. Our first turns are gonna be basically the same. I'll bench the Palky and pass. So I want to have a bucket, so they're gonna start getting moving. Um so let's see. And here it is, so hopefully they don't I mean man, if they like crossagers and knockout, like crossagers are definitely on the decline in Palkia because you don't have space for them like you used to have, but uh, I have you never know it's BDCG ladder, so my opponent does grab that Palkia V star, but will he be attacking with it this turn is the big question. They have the uh, Drizzle, Shady Dealings, I'll grab a Heavy Ball, Heavy Ball, so they probably have some sort of Kiwi's prize, yeah, a Sobble. So, bench the Sobble, attach the active, and then evolve. They're just gonna sack a Sobble, it looks like, or at least that's their, their, their plan. We have to get Incense, which is insane. We needed that. Unfortunately, we will have to use a Star Portal just to um, set up. So, I will get Drizzile and I'll get a bucket. I'm going to conceal cards before I um, show you dealing so I can. So I have more information going into that conceal car or going into that shady links, excuse me. We hit find a net, so now I can shady deal for a incense, find the Palkia and Star Portal without um uh, so I, I didn't I grab I didn't grab net with it with the shady uh, shady dealings and then I don't go on incense later on. I'm going to lost on the Sobble. I think that's, I don't necessarily mind my Palkia getting lost and if he somehow respawn knock as me back, that way they can't play Echoing Horn and get it back out. But um, I didn't bench the Sobble on purpose because I don't want my opponent to be able to go quick shooting and then subspace as well. I think they're playing a list similar to Ian Robs. He did not play the Choice Belt, so uh, they might not be, be playing that and then I can go, uh, even if they leave a bench spot open, bench Sobble, evolve into and telling on quick shooting knockout. So that's kind of my, my, my plan here. They find their own quick shooting Italian, so they might. Nope, they just go sh shady dealing, so. They have a choice belt, so. Still be a little short on us. Man, I'd kind of. They got boss's orders. I would kind of like to take out that. I mean, take out Drizzle, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because they probably don't have. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just take this knockout, though. Which is probably just correct. Kind of a, a weird prize trade, but I think because he'll probably just take three, three prizes right back. So quick shooting knockout, and then he's gonna love the Articuno instead of another Palkia. So Palkia is kind of odd in this matchup because uh, both of us don't have an easy way to move it. Like Wash Energy does deny the paralysis, but uh, I'm being very aggressive with, with my attachments. I think I was like digging for boss. I don't know why I was like. I should just take take the knockout. Oh, I, I have it right here. I should just take it. I'll quick shooting the active, attach the water to the sobble. And I think I should put the energy on the reading or ninja looking back. I find Dorton off the prizes, which is pretty nice. I could Dorton that uh, sobble into a Palkia. Takes the knockout with the quick shooting. I'll go into my Drizzle so I can evolve it and um, clear that paralysis. Yeah, Raihan, I can still use that, that Raihan, and then I can use Aquable and take the knockout here. But I'm gonna get a Rock Sand, which is pretty bad. There, is that an argument to be made of me just hitting for, for 260 and uh, saving the quick shooting for next turn so I don't get Rock Sand and I can keep my big hand? So I definitely think that this probably, probably could have been the, the optimal play because it's unlikely that he's able to Mess with my hand without being able to lock sand if I don't take the prize. My new hand is quite bad. I did incense, but which can get me to that uh, uh, sh shitty dealings in Talion, so I can Raihan to take this knockout. It's pretty good for us. Do have plenty of energies in deck. I will grab a bucket as well. I'll use that capacious bucket. Raihan to the Intellion. I'm gonna grab the wash water out of the deck. So. I'm gonna, no, I think I should should have pinged Manaphy here. I do ping the Drizzle because I'm afraid of like 
Aquabolt responds, which is I just should, should have pinged. Uh, the other guy, I should have probably benched this Sobble, but that's okay. Yeah, I definitely should have pinged the Manaphy to at least try to like force a net down the road on it. And even if it doesn't get knocked out, at least put some pressure on my opponent. That 20 damage, I put on the Italian, is unlucky to matter. Like I said in the intro, I definitely scuff up this game pretty badly. Now, the, 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 the worst is yet to come though. Uh, so there's going to be a shady dealing from my opponent. I have to imagine that the Italian will be going down. They could do my boss's order, so maybe they'll loss on my, my mana fee. I think I'd be okay with that too, as long as this Intellion lives. I don't know. My hand's kind of weak. Like I don't. I'm running low on energies. Like one thing that this list lacks. Like aside from training court, you've no instant energy recovery. You don't have a rod. Don't have a Nessa or anything like that. So you can be kind of weak. Um, like if you have to use your Star Portal early for I got relatively low value out of it, then things like this can um, happen. So. I will promote the quick shooting Italian. Half as you can steal cards, it feels so bad. I wanted to find wash energy, but I didn't. So I will grab the pal pad because that does mean I can get uh, Raihans and bosses back into the deck. I will grab a Raihan, I think. I will then quick shooting to the active, which I don't. Once again, I don't. I think I should have just brought pressure mana fee, or something like, or even the other. Yeah, I should have just quick shooting the, the mana fee. Um, like I, like my my thought process is, is I like, the next try double quick shooting this Intellion, and then I try to finish it off with my own Intellion. But I just think, but putting pressure on the mana fee when they're already very low on nets is going to be a more productive, uh, win condition for m myself. But, oh well. So they have the Hisuian Heavy Ball. They probably have two Sobbles, so pretty unfortunate for them. So they eventually, eventually have a Sobble, which is something we definitely could pick off with a couple Quake Shootings. So I think that's going to be my, my play. They're going to start working on my man if you on the bench. Makes a lot of sense. I'll go for a Waterfall. Boss Order is an interesting top deck. I will Quake Shooting. Uh, I'll Quake Shooting the Sobble. Then I'll Evolve and Quake Shooting the Sobble again. And a boss sword is up the Articuno, which can force net or an attachment, which both of us are very low on both. This is a huge mistake. I benched the Palkia, which was a very horrible play. Ugh, dang it. This was so bad. I don't like I don't need to, to bench the Palkia here. I like if I if I had like Wash or the V-Star in hand, I think the play is okay because then I can because then I give it the instant like build up to it, but I don't. I just have Ryan, which can find me one of the pieces. So I could get lucky and top deck out of this, but uh, I think, I mean, either way, the play was suboptimal and I might luck out and top deck out of it, but uh, it doesn't mean that was optimal. It's just that I got lucky and top deck out of it. So my Italian will be going down, but if, if I can quick shoot oh, Thor, and so that's gonna replace their Sobble with a, a Palkia and they'll turn it into a V-Star. So I mean, the damage on the V-Star is kind of cool. But yeah, this is very rough. I think we're both incredibly low on energies. They probably do have a training court left though. And one sort of interesting thing is if they're, ugh, yeah, see, this is so bad. So like I, yeah, this is, I have the ride onto the active. I grab the wash energy out of the, the deck. And I'm just gonna just put pressure on this, uh, on this Intellion, because my opponent has to be a little careful with like bringing up his own Palkia to respond, because um, I can always knock out right back with like, a Raihan play. So I'm just gonna thin out the deck just a little bit. Grab that, grab that Crabble and, and sort of like show the that I can use Trigger Avalanche. This is another huge misplay. I put I ping the. Palkia V Star, which is just unnecessary, like that damage kind of sort of useless. And now I'm even farther away from taking this knockout. I think like, I, should, like, I should have started pinging the Manaphy. And this, there are things that go from bad to even worse, because I benched the Palkia early, but no mileage out of it, and I know I have no way to move it. So, yeah, it's basically GG. I have to build a Thornton this into like an Ice Q or something, and then retreat out of it, or Thornton, and I don't know. Like I, like I said, I scuffed this one really badly. 
If I was working on Matthew this whole time instead of other things, then I could have my final prize right there. So I just have to like bosses or just something. So boss up their Palkia, I guess, because they won't be able to, re to respond back. And what I should have done, I passed. I should put the energy on because now they would have to have two manual attachments, which would buy me so much more time. And now they can just put down a training court and have no fear of me responding back. So yeah, this is so many, so many poor places. And yeah, there's the, the training court. Now my attachment behind, I play no Melanie. So this game for all intents and purposes is over. I'm very frustrated with myself. I should have played this one, one better, but it is what it is. It's frustrating, but it, I, 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 like, I even have the, the jelly to heal the man if you can deny that prize, but I didn't find, uh, I just like put the wash there, I guess, but that just is so, so bad. Like, <laughs> Yes, and the Roxanne. Not nothing I can do. Even if I find the Cape of Toughness, I had to be, find the Thwart in that turn. But yeah, very, uh, very inefficient with my damage counters. And yeah, it's definitely gonna cost me because if I, like, had pinged the Intellion on the prior turn, I could, I could have knocked out. If I'd been working on Manaphy the whole time, I could have got an extra knockout there. If I hadn't been to the Palkia, I wouldn't have been in this mess in the first place. So yeah, very poorly played on my end. Going second in the mirror was sort of already a disadvantage, but I had an early lead by taking that being three prizes ahead. So definitely on me there. But thank you guys for watching. This has been Palkia and Teleon. I do think this deck is a pretty solid play. If you're, I mean, I more definitely am more of a control player, but this is probably my favorite non-control deck in format currently. Uh, have any questions or comments on the list? Please let me know down below. Um, I will. I'm. Probably, I'm gonna try to stream this Friday. There's a tournament on Limitless with a pretty big pack prizing. And so check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash allupblitzel. I might be streaming this Friday. No guarantees yet. I haven't, uh, my schedule, I don't know what it is gonna be. I, so uh, tomorrow I should have a guide on how to play Ditto Control. I've, I've been asked by multiple people to do that. So uh, look out for that. Um, thank you for watching and it's been all blitzel. I'll catch you in the next one.